Hi, my name is Joelle and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you stick along to see this journey and if you've been here before, thank you for tuning back in. As you could tell by this video, this is how I knew I was pregnant before I got a positive test and then I'm going to do a line progression for you. I wrote down all my symptoms of what I had and felt before I got a positive test and I put them on my phone and now I'm gonna read them to you. The first thing that was kind of like tipped me off was my dad passed away when I was seven years old and sometimes I can just like really feel him just like there's a sign or there's something that just shows that he's with me. And I remember pulling up to my house and I just felt like he was in my passenger seat with me. I just had this overwhelming feeling that I'm pregnant and we were not trying, it was a big surprise. It kind of felt like he was just there like holding my hand telling me things were gonna be okay. And then all of a sudden um, I see like five to seven butterflies just fly in front of my car and butterflies are my symbol for my dad. So I just had like this really weird gut feeling and then that gut feeling kind of lasted and I kept taking pregnancy tests that came back negative so I was really confused because I like felt pregnant. I had really sore breasts which was unusual for me because yes it could be your period but I don't really get that with my period so that was just like it was it wasn't something that I was like oh my gosh I'm pregnant but it definitely tipped me off. The weirdest symptom that I had was a metallic taste in my mouth. I had this like taste in my mouth and it wouldn't go away with water and I didn't know what it was so I looked it up and pregnancy was one of the first things that came up so that kind of made me a little bit concerned or confused or I don't know. After that cramps which I didn't really feel was super weird and irritability didn't really think was super weird because those are both really symptoms of periods so I was just like oh my period's coming it's not a big deal but then I started getting really bad heightened sense of smell where I could like smell things and I didn't like the smell of anything and I was like this that was very unusual I had that with my daughter and I was really not hungry nothing sounded good and I get so hungry on my period so the fact that nothing sounded good to me was like weird <laughs> to me and then on top of that, I got nausea. It wasn't super severe at this point. It was just kind of like tinges of nausea. But then I noticed that my blood sugars, because I'm a type 1 diabetic, were so hard to control. I was getting super low. I was going super high. I just more so than they had been noticeably out of control. So I didn't know why that was happening at the time, but now I realize that it was pregnancy. My last symptom was being exhausted but having insomnia. So I, like I was so tired, but I couldn't sleep. And I would like wake up at two or three in the morning and just be like ready to start the day. So that was very off. And then I finally took a pregnancy test. And when I did, I, well, you guys saw it. I was kind of um, in shock. <laughs> now I'm going to get into showing you my line progressions because that is something that I looked up when I first found out I was pregnant and I had positive and then I got a negative pregnancy test. I don't know if I kept it and then I got more positives that progressively got stronger. I will show all of those to you and then sorry about the way that they look because they are older. I am 18 weeks pregnant now so they're not the freshest of them but still really good information for anybody else who's curious about that. So here are the pregnancy tests that I took and then I took some other pregnancy tests as well. But the first one I took looked like this and you can see there's a line, it's pretty faint. But I definitely knew at that point, I was like, that is definitely a line. I took another one just to be sure, but it was just like one of those cheapies and there was a line on that one as well. I took another one the next day and the line got a lot darker. I would say that's pretty dark. So I took another one of the cheapies just to make sure and that is how that one came out. And then on 11 days post ovulation, I took two more cheap ones. I didn't really have more of the expensive ones so I had to go out and buy more of those. And then on 12 days, that's what the line looked like. 
it started to get lighter. So I started to get a little bit concerned that I was gonna have a chemical pregnancy. And then of course the next day I had this one, sorry, it's yellow. I don't know why it's yellow, but it was completely negative. Um, there was not a single line on it and I freaked out. And so I called the doctor right away to try and get in, but I couldn't get in until Monday. And then this was the one the next day. So then there started to become a line again, but still not super dark for being how far along I was. But then I got this one two days later, which was like super obvious, like I'm definitely pregnant, really excited. Again, I don't know why it's yellow. And then this was the last one that I took, which is lighter than this one, but maybe the day it wasn't super light, but those were all the pregnancy tests that I took. And those were the line progressions. But if you want to see this really cute picture, it is on my Instagram right now. I like